We know that the COVID-19 crisis is affecting businesses right here in Cornwall and area, and we want to share the stories from local business owners. So joining me now is Randy Sove, owner and proprietor of Fantasy Realm. Welcome, Randy. Hi, Gabe. Thanks very much for having me. All right, so let's uh, talk first of all uh, about the impact this has had. You've adapted your business, so you're still running uh, on a very small basis uh, in terms of mailing. But let's talk about, first of all, how the, uh, the closures of businesses has affected Fantasy Realm. Yeah, so uh, Tuesday, this past Tuesday, was our last day of receiving products. So uh, I had done some curbside pickups uh, on that day. And then I allowed uh, all of the regular customer base to do uh, uh, e-transfers if they wanted uh, their items mailed within the community. So I had a lot of rural guys that had stuff shipped out, uh, Newington, Summerstown, Winchester, Chesterville, guys like that. Nobody local yet, but I did get a couple of emails this morning, so there might be a couple going out this week. All right, and obviously uh, a lot of businesses are feeling the pinch right now. How, uh, how is it going for you? Yeah, actually, we're in pretty good shape because uh, the store was well stocked. Um, we don't have any uh, any any debt owing other than uh, you know lights, gas, and rent. So other than that, uh, the little bit of uh, sales that we've had uh, locally, plus what will be coming from the online sales, will be enough to keep us going. Excellent. Now, what are you hearing from uh, some of your fellow maybe neighbors and businesses? Have you been in touch with any of them? I haven't really talked to anybody in particular, other than a couple of Facebook groups, um, but they seem to be holding out pretty good too. Uh, all, all of us have kind of come up with uh, our own ways to to cope, right? So if we can still, uh, you know, get uh, money into our bank accounts to to cover the cost of operations, which is great. Um, and, and then, like I say, my inventory is all, all covered, so I don't have to worry about that. Excellent. Now, we know that uh, different levels of government uh, have announced different measures uh, that's aimed to help uh, small businesses. Uh, have you had a chance to look at any of that? And what are your thoughts on what's been done so far? Yeah, I, I think that's actually really, really good for everybody. Um, uh, I've got a couple of emails from the banks. Nothing is up on their sites yet, but that, all that's coming this week. So I'll definitely be keeping in touch with, uh, with those guys and following up to see what, uh, what I would be eligible for from a business point of view and from a personal point of view. All right. And what about the local Chamber of Commerce? Have you been in touch with them and what are they uh, telling you? Um, I've, I haven't talked to anybody at the Chamber, um, but I've been following their, uh, their uh, Facebook uh, messages and everything. So I'm on top of that too. Excellent. So now, obviously, uh, you're one of the elder statesmen of the downtown. Fantasy Realm has been there uh, for over 30 years. So what would your advice be to some of the businesses that just got started, some of the younger entrepreneurs in town that are, that are trying to deal with this and keep their business that is open after this crisis is over? Yeah, the, they're in a pretty uh, tight spot, I do believe. Um, they just have to be um, hopeful of where, where things are going with this. Um, Hopefully they have uh, landlords who understand their situation. Uh, I know not everybody is has landlords like that. Uh, luckily for me, mine is a, a local uh, company and not uh, corporate. Um, uh, just be inventive with uh, with your business. If you can still operate, if you can still get things going, I, I've, I follow a lot of the guys on Facebook, and I see like the Spicy Pearl is being aggressive and keeping things going. I see Kids Corner that are doing things to to keep things going. So they just have to be, uh, just incorporate things that, that'll work and, uh, you know, from a legal standpoint. All right. And you mentioned, of course, uh, some of these businesses, uh, the great downtown businesses. Let's talk just finally about the importance, once this is all over, of people going back downtown and supporting local businesses uh, as, when this is all over. Yeah, I, I think a lot of people are doing that already with uh, Kelly Bergeron's program that she started with the gift certificates. So I know a lot of businesses have, have you know gotten gift certificates that can be used later on in their businesses. Um, th we're a pretty tight community down there, so I, I think it's you know our when, once our doors are open again, it's going to be like a phenomenal day. So it'll be something definitely worth celebrating. That's for sure. It'll be a day of celebration indeed, and we're all looking forward to it. On that note, Randy, thank you so much for joining me, and best of luck in these uh, trying times. Thanks very much, Kate.